Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Spire uh, Cydia application or Cydia tweak onto your iPad. Now I am running a Dreamboard theme here and that's why it looks like Mac OS X. And if you like the theme you can go check out my other video on the review. But as you can see here, I do have Siri on my iPad and it's through the Spire port. Now it doesn't work because I haven't been able to find a good proxy, but hopefully I'll find one by the end of the day or soon. So um, the thing you're going to need is iFile and obviously a jailbroken iPad. So if we go into iFile, as you can see here, we first go into iFile, which I just said. We go to disk, and once this loads up, Alright, so we go into disk, and then we go into system, let's see, system, then we go to library, and then core services, and then we go to springboard.app, and then finally we have to scroll down and find K4AP. Now, it might take me a little while to find this. Alright, I think we're getting close now. Oh, did I miss it? Alright, um, I'm going to edit this out and once I find it, I'll come back. Alright, so I found K4AP. It's uh, around the middle of the options. So if you click on K4AP, you go to text viewer, and then you go into edit mode at the top left. And now what you have to do is find where it says iPad key iPad. And let's see if I can find it. It's probably hard to see on here. Oh, key iPad key, my bad. So as you can see, um, I kind of zoomed in here, key, iPad key, and now on yours, it's going to say true in between those little, um, not parentheses, whatever they are, and you're going to have to change it to false, and I've already done so. So after you change it to false, you press save, and then exit out, and then just uh, reboot your device, and then once you're done rebooting, um, come back and continue watching this video. Alright, now that you're done rebooting, you should be able to go into the Cydia store. And you can search Spire, and you will, will be able to install it onto your iPad. And normally, if you didn't change that to false, you would not be able to, and it is only able to be installed on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. So as you can see here, I have installed it already. We scroll down. You can see I have, uh, I have Spire installed. So after you have it installed, it's going to make you reboot. And it did take about three minutes to install. So after you installed and rebooted, come back and keep watching the video. All right, so now that you have Spire installed, you should have this little Siri option on your settings menu. And But if you hold down the... Home button. Siri not available. Connect to the internet. So as you can see, it doesn't work yet. So configure all your settings here, and then what you're gonna have to do is go and do Safari or find a Siri proxy on the internet. I've actually found a proxy, but it doesn't work. As you can see, if you enter in the Siri proxy down here under Extensions and Spire, and now if I hold down the home button. Siri does come up, but it doesn't work yet, and if you guys do find any Siri proxies online, please leave them in the comments, and we can make this kind of a give and take type thing. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already, please, please, uh, please subscribe in uh, the top right corner. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.